At Space Launch Complex 37, a Delta IV rocket is fueled and ready to launch the WGS-10 mission for the United States Air Force. Good evening and welcome to Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. I'm Andrea Lenhoff. I'm a systems engineer on the Vulcan Centaur Development Program. Built in Decatur, Alabama, the Delta IV Medium Plus 5-4 includes a common booster core powered by an Aerojet Rocketdyne RS-68A engine and four orbital ATK solid rocket motors. An Aerojet Rocketdyne RL-10 B-2 engine powers a Delta Cryogenic second stage. WGS-10 is protected during ascent by a 5-meter diameter payload fairing. 30. Status check. Go Delta. Go WGS-10. 23. SRM TVC blowdown. 15. Rofi ignition. 10. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the WGS-10 mission for the United States Air Force. Passing 10 seconds into flight. Our CT chamber pressure looks good. Okay, good chamber pressure. Nice symmetric burn. 20 seconds into flight. Passing 10 seconds Continue to see good performance on the RS-68A engine. Now coming up on 30 seconds. 34 seconds into flight, Mach 1 Delta 4 is now supersonic. SRM chamber pressure has tailed off from the max pressure as expected. Continue to see good uh, engine performance on the RS-68 engine. Delta is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Now 55 seconds into flight. Continue to see good performance on the RS-68A engine, good performance on all four SRMs, nice symmetric burn. Now one minute, five seconds into flight, about 30 seconds remaining until SRM burnout. Now passing one minute, 15 seconds into flight. Continue to see good performance on the main engine. And standing by for SRM burnout shortly. And we have burnout on all four SRMs standing by for jettison. And we have good indication of jettison of all four solid rocket motors. Main engine continuing to perform well. Chamber pressure looks good. Now passing one minute, 50 seconds into flight. Vehicle's gone to closed loop guidance. The Delta IV rocket now weighs just one half of its liftoff weight, burning propellant at a rate of almost 2,000 pounds per second. Now two minutes into flight, the second stage ACS system press valve has been opened. System pressure response looks good. And seeing good body rates on the Delta IV as it transitioned to closed loop guidance. Main engine continuing to perform well, engine parameters look good. Now two minutes, 18 seconds into flight. Launch vehicle is now 46 miles in altitude, 73 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,400 miles per hour. Continue to see good performance on the main engine, passing 2 minutes, 35 seconds into flight. And body rates have uh, nulled out now, 2 minutes, 45 seconds in. And the upper stage block system has begun the boost phase chill down sequence to begin thermal conditioning of the RL-10 engine. Now 2 minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. and upper stage fuel system has begun boost phase chill down. Standing by for payload fairing jettison. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. Approximately 20 seconds remaining until booster begins to throttle down in preparation for BECO, continuing to see good um, chamber pressure on the RS-68A engine.
Now three minutes, 40 seconds into flight, standing by for booster throttle down momentarily. And booster's now throttling down in preparation for BECO, standing by for BECO. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff, standing by for stage separation. And we have good indication of stage separation. Nozzle extension is deploying. We have pre-start on the RL-10, standing by for ignition. And we have ignition on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good. Body rates look good. This is the first burn of today's mission. This first burn will last approximately 15 minutes, 15 seconds.